I said, will you be curious enough to see what's on the other side of my word? I was doing makeup for this lady. Out of the blue, she's like, I feel like I need to just tell you something. She like begins to tell me the story about how she was so obsessed with this man. Everything in life revolved around him. But she also had a relationship with the Lord and the Lord told her that he is not it. Like you have to let him go. And she said, I became so obsessed with finding out what was on the other side of the Lord's word that it became easy for me to just let go of things. She was like, now I'm married to a husband who is whole, who has a relationship with the Lord. She's like, I just felt like I needed to tell you that. And I was kind of like, thank you. Like, appreciate that story. Now, mind you, this was two years ago. I had no relationship with the Lord. Fast forward to this past year, I was in the shower and the Lord put that story in my mind. He said, Diana, will you be curious enough to know what's on the other side of my word. She looked at me and she was like, never be afraid to follow the voice of the Lord and be curious enough. She said, sometimes it's not immediate, but the Lord is faithful to always come through. I started to see that in my own life. The Lord would say, let go of this. Not yet. Go walk towards this. The Lord doesn't just tell us to do things for the sake of doing it. There's always so much depth to his word that literally affects our life 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, that then affects other people's lives around us. My word is eternal. And so when you follow it, even if it's just from a place of curiosity and you're terrified or you don't want to do it, but you still do it anyways, it will affect generations to come.